Hey everyone, welcome back to Self-Sufficient Mama. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the medicinal benefits and how to cure your allergies with goldenrod. It is in full swing and bloom right here in Texas. And um, right now is the highest peak for ragweed allergies. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to harvest goldenrod and how to use it to treat your allergies and also some other medicinal properties. So right here we have the greatest time to harvest where all these yellow flower buds right here are starting to pop open. This is the greatest time to harvest the goldenrod is when the flowers are like this. I had to do a voiceover because it is very, very windy outside and I didn't think you guys wanted to hear that. These are perfect leaves on the goldenrod to harvest. Make sure you harvest the healthy ones. These ones right here are not healthy, so don't pick those ones. Um, make sure you get the little flowers and the leaves. I also wanted to share with you guys that this is the third year that my goldenrod has been growing on my pond hill right here. So if you do not cut these down, they will sprout back up next year. And right here we have some lovely ragweed growing right next to my goldenrod and this is the cause for everybody's allergies during ragweed season. Each one of these little bulbs on these is covered in pollen and when the wind blows it blows around like crazy. It covers people's cars in this yellow dust and it's, um, it's actually quite horrible. But um, using goldenrod will help you with these allergies and your symptoms and help you guys get over that. Um, going to clip some and bring them back in the house and show you guys how to process them. Alright, I've cut off a few goldenrod pieces here with some healthy leaves and some blooms that are just blooming. They don't really have a smell to them, but what we're gonna do is get a paper bag and we are gonna dry these. I don't worry too much about the bugs because of the drying process. We'll just dry them out and then when you go to store them, you could just shake the paper bag and weed out any of the bugs you might have in there. I don't see a lot of bugs in these. So we're just going to take out the unhealthy leaves and basically separate all the leaves from the stem. We'll add those to our paper bag. at the base of every one of these flower bud starts. And that's where you're going to use the flower buds for tea or a tincture. I'm going to make tea with mine because it's easiest for me. Don't mind my snorting Frenchie in the background. Just go through, cut all these blooms off. to a separate bag because I'm going to keep the blooms and the leaves separate for my separate teas. Every three or four days you're going to want to get 
your leaves and flowers and give them a shake, help them aerate, and they should be dry in about um, a week and a half if you keep them in a well-ventilated area. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here are our dried leaves. And the dried flowers. And I keep them in this airtight container. And they will last quite a while. As long as you keep them in an airtight container. And I'm going to show you guys how to make some tea. All right, we're gonna make some tea. And this tea is not only good for allergies, it's also good for digestive issues and urinary tract infections and a whole bunch of other medicinal uses that I will post in my description below. So you guys, please take a look at that and I'll also share some links. So for the tea to use medicinally, you're gonna use um, either leaves or flowers or both. Today I'm going to do both and it's one to two uh, teaspoons per one cup that you're going to be making and I always like to pair mine with some local raw and filtered honey. This is honey from my beehive and just add your leaves and your flowers to your teapot with some boiling water let it steep. I like to steep mine for about 10 minutes. The flowers turned out really nice as you guys could see here. Just add a few of those to your teapot. And add your boiling water. Let that steep for 10 minutes and then you got yourself some nice healing medicinal golden raw tea. I wanted to thank you guys for watching my channel again and this video. If you find it helpful please share it with your friends and loved ones and I wish you guys all the best of health and wealth and I'll see you guys next time.